Hi everyone and welcome to another midweek video. Today we will be looking at why the narcissist starts caring when you stop. But before I get into it, I need to make it clear that this is only likely to happen if you are a primary source of supply to the narcissist. Because when it comes to narcissists, they have different categories for the people in their lives, which is based solely on how much narcissistic supply they get from these people. The quality of narcissistic supply is based off of what you have, the position you hold, or the opportunities that you offer to the narcissist. Those who offer the most narcissistic supply equally have the most power when it comes to not only hurting the narcissist, but influencing their behaviors. So in a way, I guess this could be a test for those who want to know how much they matter to a narcissist when it comes to narcissistic supply. But let's get into it. Narcissistic relationships are very unstable as a lot of it comes down to what mood the narcissist is in. They can demonstrate nothing but hate for you one day and then love you to the end of the world and back tomorrow. Narcissists are not consistent or considerate in their dealings with those they claim to love. This is why people end up walking on eggshells around a narcissist for the very fact that they can be so moody. We have already established that loving a narcissist does not work. Being forgiven, accommodating and continually reacting to their hurtful behaviors is not the way to go. That will only stress you out and feed the narcissist's ego in the process. But we need to remember that narcissists are needy people. They want your time, love and attention while they give nothing back in return. So when you turn off that emotional tap and just stop caring about the narcissist, that gets their attention. You not paying them attention, you not reacting to their provocations, you not trying to please them, you not caring what they are up to, you not giving in to their demands, you not seeking their approval or validation, all these are signals to the narcissist that they are losing control of you. Alarm bells go off in the narcissist's mind because the narcissist needs you when you are a precious source of supply. So they need to know that you love them or care about them. That gives them hope that they can still manipulate you and control you. They cannot cope knowing that you don't care about them or that you consider them irrelevant. No matter how much they have hurt you in their minds, they don't think it warrants you getting to the point of not loving or caring for them anymore. It comes as a shock to the narcissist when they realize they are about to lose someone who has been such a major source of narcissistic supply. So now instead of doing things that would push you away, the narcissist starts behaving and doing things to pull you back into their arms. And it's the simple fact, which I discussed in this video, that the narcissist hates you, but doesn't want to let you go because you still have something they want. And the problem is that the narcissist cannot help falling back into their default, destructive, abusive behaviors. They become too comfortable or rather bored and seem to forget that they need you. They are deluded into thinking that they have the final say and control in how you decide to live your life. That is why when we take our power back and decide enough is enough, the narcissist goes back to the drawing board and pulls out the charm to remind you of who they could be or of who you fell in love with. That side of them is always there, but it is only brought forth when the narcissist thinks it is needed. Not because you deserve the love bombing, but it's all about if it benefits the narcissist to do so. 
when you stop caring for the narcissist, they start pretending to care in order to win your affections once more. Because only when you care can they manipulate you and control you. Of course, the narcissist wishes they can treat you like trash all the time and get away with it, but they can't. And in many cases, it's only when we challenge them or stop caring when they all of a sudden want to be nice again. But to conclude, when you are a primary source of supply, although the narcissist hates you and wants to abuse you, when you make up your mind to stop caring and stop being emotionally invested in the narcissist, it gets their attention. Some of them may get mad at first, but the next course of action is usually to love bum you again, because when the narcissist is not ready to let you go, they are willing to try and charm you once more to get you to start caring for them again. Although the narcissist wants to start acting like they care when you have had enough of their games, do not fall back into that trap. Their actions are never genuine and they are not acting out of love for you, but instead what they can get from you. And before you know it, you will be back in the same position where they are taking you for granted once more. They do not really care about you or anyone. They just want what they want and are willing to deceive you into thinking that they do. Narcissists are selfish people and they are willing to trap others in relationships with them for their own benefit. It is up to us to end that cycle and put an end to these narcissistic relationships. Okay, that's it for today. If you found this beneficial, please don't forget to like and share this video. Peace and blessings, everyone.